I finally finished Attack on Titan. So, I never watched the final season of Attack on Titan. I only ever watched the uh, first three seasons. And this was my first time watching the final season. I binged it in four days. Four days I watched the entire series from the ground up, from the first season, including all the OVAs. I watched all the OVAs in, like, chronological order. And I watched all the recap movies. Pretty much everything in the series. And, wow, I, I got some things to say. So, first of all, this is a bit of a nostalgic series. Attack on Titan isn't one of my favorite anime of all time. But it is a fantastic anime. And this is a series that's nostalgic to me because it was one of the very first anime I ever watched. Like, the first season I watched it when I was just 16 years old. At the very end of high school. So I've sort of grown up with this series. And I think it's really nice to have gotten to see its conclusion during my youth but I watched the second season when it finished uh, I was 17 I watched the third season when it was finished when I was a 19 and uh, finally I never watched the final season because I was waiting for it to finish and I sort of never got around to it and so I finally did now and uh, the final season was quite something. First of all, um, the first three seasons have always been like an 8 out of 10 for me. People praise this show really, really, really highly. But to me, Attack on Titan is just an 8 out of 10. I think it will always be just an 8 out of 10. For me, it's just like re-watching the first three seasons very much solidified that for me. But I didn't feel any differently than when I did the first time watching it. Obviously, I'm not going to spoil it. But the final season is very different from all the other seasons. I'm just going to say that now. The final season of Attack on Titan is very, very different. Like, I'm very surprised that the author decided to take the story in that direction. I really didn't think that the author would take the story in that way. I never would have seen... If you asked, like, 19-year-old me, I never would have seen... It going, it going, it turning out that way. But the final season is really, really good. Like, holy moly. Some of the developments, some of the things that happen. It's like, whoa. Like, I never, I never expected it to go down this way. I think Attack on Titan has a lot of um, fantastic moments. A lot of fantastic characters as well. Some fantastic action as well. And of course, the final season is done by MAPPA, not WIT Studio. I believe WIT Studio thought that they wouldn't be able to do an adequate job on the final season, hence why they handed it over to MAPPA. And honestly, MAPPA did a quality job on the final season. The animation looks um, fantastic. As for the ending, I finished the ending last night, the final chapters, and... Uh, to be honest, um, the ending is fine. The ending is okay. Like, it's definitely not a perfect ending. But I think it's like, the best way I can explain it is like, how, how can you end this series um, without like uh, upsetting the fans? What's like a satisfactory ending you can do? Without disappointing like the fans, you know. After all this build up. To me. The ending didn't really feel exciting or satisfying. It felt more like a conclusion. It felt more like closure. You know when you're watching some. You, you ever had. Some people might have an experience of having a relative pass away, right? You know when somebody's life is at the at the end. And you're watching them pass over. Okay, it's... Forget forget what I'm saying, but I'm just trying to... It felt like that, basically. Like, um... It felt more like closure. It felt like, you know, we've, got, we've been on this long journey for 10 plus years. You know, let's finally put it to bed, put it to rest. 
that's what it felt like to me, the ending. It didn't really feel exciting or satisfying. It more felt like a well-earned conclusion for the characters, you know. The characters have been through so much. They've lost so many friends. They've uh, been through hell and back, basically, you know. And finally, they can wake up the next morning without worry, you know, with peace of mind. And to me, that's what the conclusion of Attack on Titan felt like. It didn't really hit the emotional highs I thought it was going to hit. It didn't really feel like... Um, it didn't really have like a huge, 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 huge impact, to be honest. And uh, yeah... I think Attack on Titan is a solid show. I know I've hated on it a little bit in the past. But honestly, I think uh, the Attack on Titan fan base is really toxic and really terrible. I think Attack on Titan has one of the worst anime fan bases out there. Second to like uh, My Hero and such. But, and Dragon Ball and whatnot. But I think the show is good. I think Attack on Titan is a great show. I think it has some fantastic characters, some fantastic plot twists and developments. I think the final season is absolutely insane. I liked how they tied off all the loose ends. They didn't leave any loose ends. They wrapped up everything nicely. But to me, I just don't think it's peak fiction. Many people regard Attack on Titan as like peak fiction. But to me, I just think it's a great story. I think it's a good show. In terms of modern storytelling, it's very difficult for me to think of other shows that could compare to Attack on Titan. Like, there really aren't many. I think Attack on Titan sets a very high bar. But I don't think Attack on Titan is peak fiction. In fact, I don't think there is a single anime which I would consider to be peak fiction. But yeah, I think Attack on Titan is a great show. I think it will go down in history. And be remembered. And uh, yeah. It's the end of an era. I think.